I, to lap this cylinder ball, i am done it the same way as Prezzo's done his. I watched his video when he was lapping the ball for his Titan 60 engine. And I made up a very similar um, lapping jig fixture, if you want to call it that. So it's just aluminium, because it's softer than the cast, obviously. A um, couple of set screws. It's been split. I've just used a socket air cap screw to drive it. So this does actually... It's loose on the shaft. So, yeah, pretty basic. And that's just a long bolt. That's all it is. Um, I ordered some lapping compound. Some, yeah, micron lapping compound. Um, I've lapped the cylinder, uh, the, the valves, the valves are sealing, they're being lapped, and the cylinder bore, you can pick it up there, it's as good as done, so, I'm a bit surprised how good the cylinders come up, to be honest, there is a scratch mark in there that I can't get out, when I put the piston there, in there at one time for a fit, the gudgeon pin wasn't quite, and it yeah put a mark in the cylinder, which I'm going to try and get away with. Otherwise, I'm going to have to bore it out far too much, lap it out too much. It's not a deep, heavy scratch. It's just a mark, and you can barely even feel it, but I know it's there. So I'm not going to be too concerned about it. So that's how I'm... Look, I'm not going to show lap in the cylinder because it's as boring as all shit. So that's, yeah, Prezzo showed it on his. If you want to know how you do it, you just stick it over the end, just go back on the boards, that's it. Um, started off with 10 micron and went down to three and a half. And it's like glass in there. It's as smooth as silk. I don't think it's worth going any finer, to be honest. I think it'd be plenty good enough as it is to be, yeah. So that's that done. I did go ahead off camera and drill a hole for the oil cup that sits on the back here. Um, so that's done, finished. So next I've got to make all the little finey fiddly bits. Um, there's two oil, two oil cups here for the crankshaft to be made. There's a grease cap to be made for the crankshaft pin. There's an oiler to be made for the cylinder. Um, what else is there? Got to make the spring for the rocker arm. That's a must. Just got to drop into the mower shop and see if I can get an old recoil out of a pull cord. The spring. Um, I have made a fixture up to make the gaskets. I'm going to put gaskets in between the um, in between the hurdy gurdy. You know the the valve, the intake manifold. So I couldn't work out an easy way to actually cut the gaskets, if you like. So what I've done, let me pull it apart. So what I'd done was I made had a slump of aluminium laying around. Very quick and dirty. I put that gasket. So you just cut the blank out of the gasket paper. Don't eat budgies again, so stinking bastards. So sit that in there in there because it's I've put a pocket in there. This is 0.4 mil gasket paper. I put a 0.2 mil um, recess in there. So you sit your blank in, bolt your cap back down, which captures it down there tight and it can't move. Then just get an end mill and run down each each hole. Take it off, put another one in, and you got yourself a um. Yourself a nice perfect gasket. 
so also made this other one here is to make it where it bolts on to the cylinder there's another pocket under this plate here as well so that was the way I got around making the gaskets for it which is yeah our job to make this for a two second job to make the gasket <laughs> anyway it works so I know they're right um, so now I guess it's just on to making all the little tiny brass fiddly bits oh, I've got to drill these two two ports here um, probably going to go and order the points condenser and the coil today hopefully and um, we're really not far off actually firing it up so oh and I did I pushed out really did push out um, in regards to the fuel system it says in the instruction booklet if you can make the carby setup but it's not very successful so I decided to jump online I looked up a couple of forums and there's a fella in the States who built this engine and he used this exact carby look at that dunny budgie piss off you bastard I'm not dead um, so bought these off RCMA hobby hobby and models up in Queensland made the adapter up so which fell have I got there anyway you get the guest just have a little burr on there yeah anyway that's going to bolt onto there so that was the easiest way to at least i can vary the the revs now um well these carbies are 65 bucks each a fairly decent price but it's worth it in the end i think i know i should have you know when you read the forums up they reckon you know the carbies do work the ones you can build but they're not yeah they they run more they run a lot better with a um with these type of carbies so i pushed out i ain't gonna make the carby so i'm gonna make the cup the oil cup that goes in the cylinder So it's only three quarters for diam three quarter inch diameter. Um, I've gone for M5 thread into the cylinder instead of ten thirty twos. Hopefully, I've already got a spring that'll do the job here, um, and just a three mil bolt. That'll be a three mil bolt. Yeah, I'm just going to get in and build it on the lathe and. A quick overview of you can see the plans and I'll show a bit of building this but it's gonna be tiny <laughs> it can be very tiny
here's a little bolt I prepared earlier. It's got a point on it, cut down spring. It's an M3 bolt, it's got a 1.5mm through hole. An M3 thread in there. So there's an oil cup that'll go in there on top of the cylinder. So when you want to Oil the cylinder, you just undo the screw and I'll drip oil through. Anyway, that, that's the oil cup done. Pretty happy with that. Easy to make, quick. It's got an M5 thread on that end, M3 internal. Yeah, that'll do the job. So I've just fitted the cylinder back up into the frame. Doesn't protrude through into the inner wall. We've got an oiler. It's pretty basic and simple. So um, I've got to build the two for here now, but I've got to set this up in the mill and drill these through into the inner bore and tap them for M3 and build a little oil caps for that. And I'm not too sure if I'll show you that, but it's just basically the same, just building oil cups. It's pretty, nothing real fancy about it. Okay, so off camera, just knocked up these little oil cups with an M3 thread. A bit worried about the, the internal hole being a bit small yet. But anyway, they go into there like that. So really, it's not going to actually look too bad. Okay, so we're getting down to the final end of this build and the last sort of biggest component I could see to make was a fuel tank. Now I sat here yesterday trying to work out the best way to make a tank, whether I use copper pipe with two Welsh plugs soldered in the end, I've got no way of soldering stuff. Do I use a piece of stainless pipe, tig the ends in, it was just a heap of different ways you could do it. So I've opted with making an aluminium tank. So these are the components. Two end caps, stand, a collar, filler cap. Yeah. So the way it works is slide this collar over. Get it roughly in the middle. Copper washer on there. It's tapped M6. So we can get that sitting roughly about level. Do that up and that pinches against the bottom of the tank. So it'll have a little bit of Loctite on there so it can't come undone. End cap, which I've turned up same size fitting as the actual carby has, takes a bit of hose, it'll slip on the end. Now these are all very tight fits and obviously an end cap on the other end and a filler cap that has a one millimeter hole through it for a breather. So, I know the ends aren't pushed on far enough yet, but that's the actual, what's what it's going to look like. Um, reading up on all the literature that other guys have written when they've done this build, when the tank's full, it's got to be a quarter of an inch below the float or the, the needle valve in the carby, which is just sitting about right. So... That's what it's going to look like. I don't know what you guys think of that. 
um, I just started building and I didn't record it because I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it and I just sort of made it up as I went. Um, I think it's not going to look too bad to be honest. I think it'll do. So, now to seal it, oh, it's a good fit I can tell you. To seal it, my plan is, is I've got some Loctite flange sealant. I put a very light bead around this, the inside, inside corner. Then Loctite 680 around the outside and push them on, lock them on tight. Um, that's your bet. If it seals, it seals. If it don't, well, I go back to square one and start again. It's about the only way I can think to do it, to be honest. Um, I'd look terrible if you went and I've got it welded on. If I've got this ends cap welded, I don't look bloody shit out, I think. So I'm going to give it a go. If it doesn't work, it's no great loss. But that's the way that um, just protrudes through there enough just to pinch on the um, on the tube. So it's worth giving it a go, eh? What's the worst can happen? It don't work. I just got to make sure when I put this end cap on that it's actually square with the filler cap otherwise it's going to look bloody stupid that shouldn't be too hard to sort out that's just screwed in it's got an m3 thread it's exactly the same dimensions fitting as the one on the um on the carby itself which i have mounted in there it's in place now it's in situ so that don't look too bad Bit longer than what I really wanted, but anyway, it's going to stick out the front, but that doesn't matter. It's got to be wary of it. Yeah, she's starting to come together, eh? Shouldn't be far off. We might have a bit of bit of soot. Oh, I've got to make the exhaust. That's one thing I do have to make next. Is the exhaust. I'm toying with the idea whether I have it coming out and going up. All the others I've seen, all bar a couple, all blow back on these gears. Good idea in a way because the bit of oil you do have in it lubricates the gearing but it just doesn't seem right blowing shit all over that i'd rather blow it up not blow it up but take the exhaust so it pushes upwards i'll work that out later so i've got to get this car this this tank together so i'm not going to worry about film and putting it together so i've got to clean it all up and everything first um, glue it together and get the hole drilled so it's got an M6 thread in there work out where it's got to go and bolt it up hope for the best well that went way better than what I expected I used this 518 around the rim of the tube so around this top rim put a bead around that and the cap I use that 680 around the lip of the cap um, and then done one end at a time and squeeze it in the mill vise because it had nice clean jaws um, so no damage done I did use a bit of flange cell and some Loctite to lock that fitting in the only thing I'm not overly the more I look at it the more it annoys me is the filler cap and I don't reckon it's going to seal. I made a screw up. But I think we can overcome it. Well, I think I come up with a solution to fix this problem. I got a piece of brass, um, turned it down to roughly the same diameter as uh, the cat. Then got an inch and a quarter cutter and put a scallop in the end of the brass stock. Drilled a hole in it. <laughs> Put a slight smear of that 680 Loctite around the inside rim. Locked it all down. Locked and it didn't stick. 
I might have been a bit too quick on that. But anyway, you can see what I've done there now anyway. Just made a scold piece. But I'll try that again and lock it down there. And hopefully that'll stay on without actually lock tight gluing the um gluing the actual piece in. Whoever's using that friggin' whipper stipper needs to learn to dry the bastard properly. Here, rum, 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 rum. Ah, oh, dude. Now it showed up his ass in a minute. Might be too much. <laughs> I'm worried about actually gluing the bloody cap down to it. That's what I'm worried about. Shaking me, Suf. Tight on that thread, so it should be pretty right. I think I'll just lock that down and just leave it down for an hour or so. Just let it sit, and hopefully, that won't glue the cap into place. There's only one real thing left to do, then well, two, two things left. Um, Strip the whole thing and clean it all. Clean the whole thing up. Um, I've got to drill two holes in the flywheel to pin it to the crankshaft. Then the crankshaft can't come out then. It's locked in. Unless you knock the roll pins out. It said to use 3 16th roll pins. I haven't got a 3 16th long series drill to get down here, but got an 8th, so I'm going to go with 8th. And I believe there'll be enough sideball, it's not going to hurt the crankshaft. I have gone ahead and built a timing fixture. Now there's a chap on the internet who built this engine and designed this fixture. The way it works is it holds the crankshaft at 15 degrees before bottom dead center. You have to then time the camming gear, the cam gear, sorry, the cam lobe, should I say, till it's just starting to open up the, um, the valve. And then you use another piece, put a clamp on it, like an engineer's clamp, that locks the crankshaft in place and also locks the flywheel from turning at all then you're safe to drill it says in the instruction mat in book or in the notes to just get everything timed hold it drill it by hand well no way that ain't going to work in my joint definitely screw that up so i went the fellow was kind enough on the internet to publish the prints for this clamp system then the only downfall is end up two extra holes in your plate. So be it. I'm not going to be concerned about that. You could, I don't know what you could put on them two holes. You could just put small short bolts in there and just put a set of grub screws in there, set screws, whatever. Then I've got to time the, the points, wire it up, make the ignition system, and then we're right to nearly start the big job. So we're getting very, very, very close. Beyond close. 
get the body close as long as this fuel tank seals I'm not going to put fuel in this tank for another day or so I'm going to let that Loctite set completely before I even think about it I want to give it as much time as I can and just hope it doesn't play up and leak it leaks I just have to start again and make something else off camera I had a first attempt at making an exhaust um, the kids wanted it to go upwards Anyway, that was a shit fit and it didn't, yeah, it didn't work. So I did change the design a little bit and made a, an adapter, which this thing goes into. Gets loctited into each end, into the um, valve body. So put a mitre cut on it kids like that <laughs> so I'm going to lock tight this together it's just fiddly little things to make and hard to film because it's just a lot of yeah just fiddly little stuff that's stainless 316 stainless and just an aluminium adapter which I think will be fine anyway I'm going to glue this into place and let it go off um, Pouring rain outside. Went to get 130 mil, I reckon, today, but see what happens. Under the rocker arm, there's a spring. So, a flat spring. So, I used a recoil spring out of a small engine for the cord re recoil. Um, I used a carbide end mill, sams it between two bits of aluminium to drill the three millimeter hole bit hard to show you but it fits down and goes under the rocker arm get in there you bastard there's something like that and the rocker arm sits on it and it pushes the rocker arm Always keeps pressure on the on the cam load. It's pretty much what it does. It's gonna take a bit of fiddling around to actually get the rocker arm back in. Since it's under a bit of tension, but we'll have a go. So I just thought I'd show you that. 